Well, everybody said about the bird. Pop up my mama, pop up my mama, pop up my mama. Okay, today I'm going to show you how I got a shiny Sinistra. And to do this, I had to use the Polchageist, which is this guy right here. These are a new Pokemon that was introduced with the Teal Mask DLC. So first thing I'm going to do here is check the habitat for this Polchageist. So you can see where on the map here you get it. So you can see right here, it comes in the southeast region of the new area in the DLC. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and then kind of explain how I went about finding that Poltergeist. So first what I did is I found the Sinistra in a six star terror raid. Um, it was on accident, actually. Actually. <laughs> Been a long night, really tired today. But anyways, it was a six star Terra raid that I found in the Poke Portal. It wasn't even my Terra Crystal, it was someone else's. And I joined that, happened to have a good team, and we caught this guy. And immediately I put it in a party with my Ditto and I bred it to get the pre-evolution, which is this Poltergeist here. And that's how I was able to find the habitat because I didn't know where on the map these were located, but once you breed this Sinistra with a or with a Ditto and you get the Poltergeist, it does show the habitat for the Poltergeist. Because if you look at the habitat for the Sinistra here, it says unknown. So I was not able to locate this guy with a habitat. But if you look for the Poltergeist, you can get the shiny on the map in that region, which is exactly what I did. So to get to that region, I went on my map and I flew to the fly spot over here by the Kitakami Hall. And then I would pull my map back up here and mark this area down here on Revelers Road. And then I just run over there. It's actually kind of right outside of that area. So this is the area right here. And you'll see all these bamboo trees. And this is where the Poltergeist is found. I'm sure if I drive around here for a minute in this bamboo area, I can find one. If you go much outside of the bamboo, they really don't spawn. There's one right there. Right there, see? So I knew that the Poltergeist was here. But you can see they're not very abundant right now. So what I did is made a shiny sandwich. And that's how I was able to attract the Poltergeist here as a shiny. Now that took a long time for the record. The shiny looks very similar to the regular Poltergeist. It's just a little bit lighter green on the body than that one. Actually, I can show you here because I have both versions in my boxes. So I'll quick show you. Oh, I don't have the shiny. I don't have the shiny anymore because I evolved it. That's what this video is about. How do you get this uh, Sinistra? But if you look at this guy here, that area that's not white on the body, you can see it's kind of gray here. It's more of a green color on the shiny you can kind of see with the regular sinistra here if you look you can see it's that same like darker shade that we just saw but if you go up to the shiny you can see it's green on the cup there 
So it's the same difference on the Poltergeist. So I'll go over how to make that sandwich really quick. And then I'll fast forward through the last hunt that I did and show you the capture and the encounter. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you how I evolved it. So we're going to make a ghost type sandwich that does encounter power and shiny power for ghost types. So it's going to be two red onions, one prosciutto, one green, one red, one, whoops, one yellow pepper, any two mystica. So I will do spicy and bitter. Y'all, I'm telling you, I got to work in three hours. Four hours, sorry. Oh, so I'm really hoping for this shiny. And there you have it. Sparkling power level three, title power level three, encounter power level three, all for the ghost type. So we're going to pack our picnic up here. I'm going to... And right here, I just fast forwarded and condensed the nearly 30 minute hunt into 20 seconds it won't make you suffer through the entire thing and here we're coming to the end of the shiny hunt and there it is right there you can see my lead pokemon is refusing to attack it i have turned off the audio from when i actually did this hunt because it's laden with expletives <laughs> of excitement and I didn't want that in this YouTube video so the game audio is gone and the original mic audio is gone and replaced with this audio here which is more YouTube friendly but yeah I was really excited to catch this guy so there it is caught it with a quick ball first try and yeah that's the capture portion there for that poltergeist. There he is. There's the shiny. See, that's what it looks like. And you can see I renamed it Shiny Geist. Give you a nice look at that guy for a moment. Super pretty. Really like the poltergeist shiny. And then here I do just a little comparison of the shiny versus the regular Poltergeist. So you can see the darker colors there on this one versus the greener colors on this one. Hard to tell when I was so tired yesterday, but <laughs> I could see them better this morning as I'm recording this video. But yeah, there's the difference between the two. One last look there. And now I'll move on to the next portion of the video, which is where to get the item, the unremarkable teacup to evolve it to the Sinistra. So we'll move on to that portion next. So I have marked an area on my map here to find the item that we need for evolving our poltergeist so i've marked this little area here which is on the northwest side of this mountain right right over here so like here's this fly spot called crystal pool on the oni mountain here's the kitakami hall so if we go northwest from here right above this little pool of water so if you just fly here to the crystal pool you can look around that area for a cave and I'll show you now kind of what that looks like. And I'm not sure if that item will be in the cave because I've already retrieved it. But I'm going to show you where the cave is.
So there's the pool of water. That's kind of how I remembered where the cave was. You just go a little north from that pool of water. Or like, I guess it would be northeast. And it's in this cave right here. It'll just be a little Pokeball item sitting there. You pick that up. And then it'll be called the Unremarkable Teacup. Now the one thing about that teacup, I have another teacup that is probably, I don't know, probably one is for the inauthentic and one is for the authentic version is my guess. I'm not 100% on that, but it'll be in your other items area here. It's obviously gone because I used it to evolve already. But this masterpiece teacup is the other one that's in a totally different area. Um, but the one thing I want to tell you actually before I exit, you don't want to actually give it to the Pokemon to hold like you do for some ev other evolutions. You want to do the option use this item. So you'll use the item on your Polchegeist. And then it will evolve into Sinistra. So more on the Masterpiece Teacup to come, but right now I don't know exactly what its purpose is maybe i'll give it to um my shiny to hold or something but for right now that's what you need to know so i can try to put a little clip of the evolution on here but i don't know if i captured the whole thing because i did that without recording it last night so i just kind of clipped it on the switch so that one might not be like a full clip but um i'll see if i can get that on here at the end but that is how you find a shiny poltergeist and then how you evolve it into sinistra appreciate you watching have a wonderful day youtube i will see you next time this is mf starboy signing off